What's good family, it's your man Harrison back again with another video. Today's gonna be the part two of the intraday setup. So guys, I'm gonna show you what's going on with gold and how your boy was trading this intraday as well. So guys, like I say in every single video, watch the full video to the end. Let's get straight into it. All right guys, so right now, as you can see, this is gold, right? So I've showed you guys the strategy on my channel um, before. So guys, this is the strategy that I really want you guys to be really mastering. So really go back and study the strategy. This is one day's worth of price action again. What you can see here is this is consolidation. So basically in the Asian session, all they did was consolidate. You can see the top, you can see the bottom, you can see the top and the bottom, right? So when things are consolidating, what is happening family? There is money being built up on the top side there's money being built up in the bottom side. So in other words, there is liquidity there, right? So people's stop losses up here, people's stop losses are beneath this consolidation too. So what happens after that? They run you out on both sides, so they take the money on the bottom side and they also take the money on the top side. This is what happens after they've done all of that stuff and they start to move. This is what I like to show you guys. I'll show you guys this over and over and over again. They generated a double top here. You guys know what's above a double top. There's more liquidity above the other top. So in other words, retail traders are, um, are taught that whenever things are consolidating, you buy at the bottom and you sell at the top, right? So that's what they're told, right? And But eventually they get stopped out. They're also told that when you get a double top, what you should do is you should sell. So yes, you might catch a little small drop, right? But guess what? Their aim is to take you out, yeah? So I've told you guys this every single time. Whenever you see like consolidation, whenever you see like a generation of liquidity, wait for them to take it out. Right after they take out the liquidity on the top end, this is where smart money is jumping in with their sales, right? Most people won't even know when to jump in, but this is where smart money is jumping in with their sales. What happens is this, they're pairing up their sales with people's buys, right? So what's happening here basically is that there's breakout buyers, yeah? There's breakout buyers who want to buy price when it breaks out of the zone. They want to buy gold as soon as gold breaks out of the zone, right? So smart money is then exchanging their buys, yeah, that they bought, yeah, to take out this high, okay? They're, they're exchanging their buys with sales. So smart money is jumping in with their sales and then they drag price down. So finally, the moment they beat the low, okay, that took out the high, okay, so this was the low, or some people might have used this one too, but it doesn't really matter. The moment they break the low, okay, that's a good sign, okay? Don't forget, we also had equal lows down here, or you can call it triple lows or quadruple lows so this was going to be our drawn price once we got our entry right so the moment they broke this low wait for price to return back to a premium price okay to a premium price and then you jump in some people like to use the Fibonacci. I don't use the Fibonacci for this, but some people use that. Wait for price to get to like a 78 Fibonacci and then they jump in, right? And so this is your area of, to jump in. Okay, this is, would be your area to jump in. I miss it, this entry up here. You know, I could have caught a, a nice sweet entry right up here within the zone, but I missed it. But then price gave me a second chance. I was able to jump in right here when price put up the second time and then I jumped in and then I sold price all the way down, right? The reason I like this as well, because they didn't even take out the lows. They didn't take out the liquidity they just produce a quadruple low so in other words what was happening here was that they were just enticing retail traders to buy 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 this has to be a strong zone because they've touched it four times now and it's not broken let's buy so retail traders are taught to buy 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 whenever they see multiple rejections from a zone right so this is why i jumped in and then it plummeted so now guys check this out right so we had equal lows over here as you can see what happened the moment it tapped me into this trade i was at about a 13 pip stop loss so in other words i put my stop loss above this zone okay above this high over here i didn't need to put it above here i didn't need to be super safe because they really traded up here i put it above here so it was a 13 pip stop loss and look at this we traded towards the money okay the money was down here but guys if you run my video back you're gonna see this right so you're gonna see this if you run my video back all the way down here down here you remember my last video on gold when I was saying, look, they can't leave this money behind. I wanted them to trade towards here. They missed it by about look, two pips, right? And But they had created equal lows. So in other words, what happens is this. Whenever they create equal lows or whenever they create equal highs, they're basically just telling you a story that there's something down here that they're reaching for, okay? So in other words, when they, um, when they created equal lows down here, there was something down here that they were reaching for. And so for me, this was the daily low, okay? There's liquidity beneath daily lows daily highs so this was the daily low for this day okay this is what they were reaching for right so this is why this is where i took my ultimate tp for my goal position so as you can see okay so this is the line that line right there all right this is the line so this i believe this is the equal low and then this is that daily low 
so this is how you could have played this intraday right so after they run out the highs okay and then they broke down broke through the low once it pulled back this way you could have got your your entry okay if you missed that they gave you a second chance to get in here down here right but then guys this is where you will take your tp you will take your tp at that daily low okay so if this was the low of the day this is where you come and take your tp right this is where you take your tp and that alone still would have been some nice pips so for my entry to this low you're still talking about a 100 pip move, right? So look, this is an intraday move. Intraday move, you're in these markets, you're out these markets, right? Don't be trying to get lucky and trying to hold your position unless you know exactly where you're targeting and where you believe price is gonna go, right? Obviously, there's gonna be multiple chances to get in. When it pulls back up, you can always jump back in. So look, it pulled back up once, I jumped back in, and I jumped in for a third position too, right? But I had one position riding out for the liquidity right beneath these lows, as you can see, beneath these lows over here, right? all right guys so here's the mentorship group i wanted to show you guys how we actually traded this gold trade right so first of all i put down inside a group check it out boom right here we were tracking it from the beginning we were actually buying gold up but we knew that there was liquidity beneath and i had run out everything right so you can see that we're tracking gold cool so now when we keep it moving i can see right down here this is where we actually get into the gold trade right so this is where i actually get into the gold trade right down here boom you can see it if i just zoom in you can see that liquidity run you can see the break of that short term low and then the retracement and then i get my entry you can see where our initial targets are you can see like the quadruple low as well so boom that was that then if i keep on scrolling now so you can see boom this is where we get that second position in on gold you can see it right down here so guys i just wanted to show you guys that this is also called out in the mentorship group man so family if you want mentorship hit me up on instagram just literally dm me mentorship okay dm me mentorship and let's get to work so guys, in total, this move was a huge, huge move. This was literally about, what, 350 pip moves to get back down to here. And guys, this was just a beautiful move. This all happened within one day, guys. So guys, I just wanted to show you the power of using this intraday strategy. What you can do if you want to catch a runner is this, right? Once it gets to that daily low, close off 80% of your position and let the rest ride. Let the rest ride, okay? Let it ride, let it ride. Move your stop loss into a stop profit and let the rest ride. And guys, this is how you're able to catch those big, big runners, okay? Big runners. Obviously, it continued to drop even lower than that, as you can see, okay? It dropped even lower than that, but I wasn't bothered because my overall target had been reached. But guys, I just wanted to quickly show you guys how this move played out. This was a beautiful move. Once you understand what they're doing, okay? Once you understand what they're doing here, they generate, consoli they, they consolidate, so they're generating liquidity. They run it out on both sides, right? They create a double top, okay? Double top, they've also got double or triple bottoms down here. So you know there's money down here. They create a double top, so you know there's money here. So the moment they snatch this, okay? This money up here, you know they're aiming for the liquidity beneath the triple bottom, okay? Or the quadruple bottom. And there's also liquidity beneath that daily low. They're aiming for that too, right? Once it gets there, scale off your 8%, let your 20% ride, or scale off 90%, let 10% ride, and see whether you can catch a big move. So family, that's what I really wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys this intraday part two video. Okay, so if you haven't watched my last video, watch that one too, catch the part one. This is the part two. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching the video. If you want mentorship, hit me up on Instagram. Just DM me, just type in mentorship and let's get to work. Also guys, let's see whether we can raise the bar, smash 300 likes on this video and really get this out to the masses. But anyway guys, thank you guys for watching the video. Peace out.